Hello everyone, welcome to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8 chapter 2 linear equations in one variable. Exercise 2.2, 11th sum onwards. See now question number 11. Bai Chung's father is 26 years younger than Bai Chung's grandfather and 29 years older than Bai Chung. The sum of the ages of all the three is 135 years. What is the age of each one of them? Let us see the solution. Let the age of Bai Chung's father is X years. Then the age of Bai Chung's grandfather is X plus 26 years. And age of Bai Chung is X minus 29 years. According to the sum, Sum of ages of all the three is 135 years. Now let us solve the sum. According to the sum, sum of their ages is 135. So x plus x plus 26 plus x minus 29 equals to 135. x plus x plus x that is 3x minus 29 plus 26. When we subtract this, we get minus 3. So, 3x minus 3 that equals to 135. Next, 3x equal to 135 minus 3 on transposing it becomes plus 3. So, 135 plus 3, 138. Therefore, 3x equal to 138. x equal to 138 by 3. Here, 3 is multiplying on transposing it becomes divided by. 3 table 3 ones are 3. 3 table 46 times 138. Therefore, we got x value as 46. Therefore, age of Bai Chung's father is x that equals to 46 years. Next, age of Bai Chung's grandfather is x plus 26 that is 46 plus 26 that is 72 years. Next, age of Bai Chung is x minus 29 that is 46 minus 29 that is 17 years. See now question number 12. 15 years from now, Ravi's age will be 4 times his present age. What is Ravi's present age? Let us see the solution. Let the present age of Ravi is x years. 15 years later, his age will be x plus 15 years. According to the sum, 15 years later his age will be equal to 4 times of his present age. So, x plus 15 is equal to 4x. That implies here plus x on transposing it becomes minus x. So, 4x minus x equal to 15. 4x minus x that is 3x that equals to 15. That implies x equal to 15 by 3. Here 3 is going to multiply on transposing. It becomes divided by. Now, 3 table 3 ones are 3. 3 fives are 15. Therefore, we got x value as 5. Therefore, Ravi's present age is 5 years. See now question number 13. Irrational number is such that when you multiply it by 5 by 2 and add 2 by 3 to the product, you get minus 7 by 12. What is the number? Let us see the solution. Let the rational number be x. According to the sum, this rational number is multiplied by 5 by 2. Then after for this product, we should add 2 by 3. It will give us minus 7 by 12. So we have written x into 5 by 2 plus 2 by 3 that equals to minus 7 by 12. x into 5 that is 5x by 2 that equals to here plus 2 by 3 on transposing it becomes minus 2 by 3. So, minus 7 by 12 minus 2 by 3. That implies 5x by 2 that equals to for 12 and 3 if we have done LCM we get 12. Now, we shall write numerator minus 7 into 12 table 12 one time minus 2 into 3 table 12 is 4 times. So, we multiply here by 4. That implies 5x by 2 equals to minus 7 into 1. Minus 7 minus 2 into 4, 8. So, minus 7 minus 8. It becomes minus 15. So, next step 5x by 2 that equals to minus 15 by 12. In 3 table, 
15 is 5 times and 12 is 4 times. So, x equal to minus 5 by 4. Here 5 by 2 on transposing it becomes a reciprocal. So, it becomes 2 by 5. That implies x equal to multiply numerator minus 5 into 2 minus 10 by 4 into 5 20. So, x value we got here minus 10 by 20. Now, 10 table 10 ones are 10, 10 twos are 20. So, x value we got here minus 1 by 2. Therefore, the rational number is minus 1 by 2. See now question number 14. Lakshmi is a cashier in a bank. She has currency notes of denominations 100 rupees, 50 rupees and 10 rupees respectively. The ratio of number of these notes is 2 is to 3 is to 5. The total cash with Lakshmi is 4 lakhs rupees. How many notes of each denomination does she have? Let us see the solution. Let the number of notes of 100 rupees, 50 rupees and 10 rupees be 2x, 3x and 5x respectively. Now value of 100 rupees is 2x into 100 that is 200x. Next value of 50 rupees that is 3x into 50 that is 150x. Next value of 10 rupees that is 5x into 10 that is 50x. According to the sum, 200x plus 150x plus 50x equal to 4 lakhs. That implies, on adding all these values, we get 400x that equals to 4 lakhs. x equal to 4 lakhs by 400. Here 400 is multiplying on transposing, it becomes divided by. Now 400 table, 1000 times 4 lakhs. Therefore, x value is 1000. Therefore, number of 100 rupee notes is 2x. That is 2 into 1000, that is 2000. Next, a number of 50 rupee notes is 3x, that is 3 into 1000, that is 3000. Next, a number of 10 rupee notes is 5x, that is 5 into 1000, 5000. Therefore, we had 100 rupee notes were 2000, 50 rupee notes were 3000, and 10 rupee notes were 5000. See now question number 15. I have a total of 300 rupees in coins of denominations 1 rupee, 2 rupees and 5 rupees. The number of 2 rupee coins is 3 times the number of 5 rupee coins. The total number of coins is 160. How many coins of each denomination is with me? Let us see the solution. Let the number of 5 rupee coins be x. Then the number of 2 rupee coins be 3x. Why? Because they have given 2 rupee coins is 3 times the number of 5 rupee coins. So the number of 2 rupee coins is 3 times of 5 rupee coins that is 3x. Next, year, number of 1 rupee coins is total coins were 160. If you remove 5 rupee coins and 2 rupee coins, remaining coins will be 1 rupee coins. So let us add this x plus 3x means 4x. So out of 160 coins, if you subtract this 5 rupee coins and number of 2 rupee coins that is 4x we get 1 rupee coins. Therefore number of 1 rupee coins is 160 minus 4x. Now value of 5 rupee coins is x into 5 that is 5x. Value of 2 rupee coins is 3x into 2 that is 6x. Next value of 1 rupee coins is 160 minus 4x into 1 that is 160 minus 4x. According to the sum 5x plus 6x plus 160 minus 4x is equal to 300 rupees. That implies 5x plus 6x that is 11x. 11x minus 4x that is 7x plus 160 that equals to 300. That implies 7x equal to 300 minus 160. Plus 160 on transposing it became minus 160. That implies 7x equal to 300 minus 160 that is 140. Next, x equal to 140 by 7. 7 table 20 times 140. Therefore, we got x value as 20. Now, number of 5 rupee coins is x, that is 20. Next, number of 2 rupee coins is 3x, that is 3 into 20, that is 60 coins. Next, number of 1 rupee coins is 160 minus 4x, that is 160 minus 4 into 20. That equals to 160 minus 4, 20 is 80. So, 160 minus 80 is 80. 
Therefore, number of one coins is 80 coins. See now question number 16. The organizers of an essay competition decide that a winner in the competition gets a prize of 100 rupees and a participant who does not win gets a prize of 25 rupees. The total prize money distributed is 3000 rupees. Find the number of winners if the total number of participants is 63. Let us see the solution. Let the number of winners be x. Then the number of participants who does not win be 63 minus x. Why? Because total number of participants were 63. If the winners were x, then the number of participants who does not win will be 63 minus x. The total number of participants minus number of winners. Next, the total money given to the winner is 100 rupees. So, 100 rupees into number of winners x. So, 100 into x, 100 x. Next, the total money given to the participants who did not win. That is 24 rupees into 63 minus x. According to the sum, 100x plus 25 into 63 minus x equal to total price money that is 3000 rupees. That implies 100x plus 25 into 63 is 1575 minus 25 into x, 25x that equals to 3000. 100x minus 25x equal to 3000 minus 1575. 1575 on transposing it became minus 1575. That implies 100x minus 25x, that is 75x, that equals to 3000 minus 1575, that is 1425. That implies x equal to 1425 by 75. That is 75 tables, 75 ones are 75, 75 19s are 1425. Therefore, x value is 19. Therefore, number of winners are 19. Today we have seen class 8, chapter 2, exercise 2.2, 2, 11 to 16 sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.